Hey guys, Joshua Baintech. I've got Liquid Smooths ROM for the Galaxy S4. This is the Verizon model and this is basically just a little overview of what it looks like and what to expect. It uses Nova Launcher for its base launcher so this is pretty much what it looks like. So we'll start here with the drop down menu and you're going to get just a different look to it if you're not used to uh, a non TouchWiz ROM. So you're going to get your time here at the top and you get some more menu options here. You can have your profile, brightness, settings, and a bunch of other different options. And you can actually go into your settings and put some more cards here for your shortcuts, whatever you like the most. And that's kind of what it starts out with here first. There's tons of different settings that you can do, so we'll jump right into the system settings. Um, one of the first things you're going to notice is, you know, just some of your normal settings. You got more here. This is where you're going to get some of those you know, wireless and network settings. You have a dark liquid option. You can turn that on and it kind of gives you just a flat black look and if you just kind of pay attention a little bit more you can see the change. Instead of having kind of that blue hue to it, you get black. Which I kind of like the black better. It just seems to look better. I don't really like that blue hue so I like this option a lot. So here's your lot of your custom options, hardware keys, halo options, notification drawer, recent RAM bar, tablet settings, default app grid, clock widget, custom carrier label, low battery warning, and your vibration multiplier. So just a lot of different settings just for your interface. You can get a lock screen. Allow rotation, battery status, buttons, widgets, security, targets, eight targets, shortcuts, shortcut long press, custom background, custom text color. This ROM is going to let you basically do whatever you want with your phone. You can customize it just about any way that you want. Navigation, you have the choice of kind of getting the on screen menus. And it's all automatic so it kind of looks like that Nexus look if you don't like to use your hard keys but the option here is that you could turn the hard keys down here at the bottom into something else so you can use this as your menu if you like that Nexus kind of Google stock look or feel and then use this stuff down here like your back in your menu as different options let's say you'd rather have uh, just something else launch or something like that so I'm gonna go back and change the navigation because although that's a cool feature and I'm glad that they put it in I'm not gonna use it you can change your performance and this is kinda where you wanna not do anything unless you know what you're doing so make sure that you know what you're doing you don't wanna change things that you don't know what it does so leave it alone if you don't know what it does basically it's gonna change your performance level if it goes faster or slower uses less battery more battery things like that but when you mess with stuff like that it's a chance that you might get some bugs here and there you got pie control and you can turn all that on so there's your custom options here's some interface some more interface it's just crazy all the amount of stuff that you can do uh, screenshot just a lot of different things that you can do with this ROM power widget. You can change all that. Quick settings, status bar, themes. Let's go see device. You got apps, battery, display, sound, storage, personal stuff. You got advanced, backup, reset, language input, location, profile, security. You got your accounts and your system. And one of the things you're going to want to do is just kind of go through here and double check your kernel versions see what ROM you're running, build number, all that kind of stuff and if you tap all that you get into developer mode and you get developer settings and this is where you're gonna find just a bunch of different options here that you have available to you so that's the overall settings menu you're going to get your Google stock camera and this has some pretty cool features here you got all your settings here with your camera power shutter you know, just a bunch of different options here true view 
your external, you can change your picture size, all that good stuff. And this is one of the neat things about I forgot to mention is that you can actually slide across the no notification bar menu to get to those apps up here at the top. So if you don't want to reach all the way up to hit this button here, all you have to do is just slide your finger across and it brings up those menu options. So this is just a general overview of Liquid Smooth ROM for the Galaxy S4. Other devices are supported. I'll have links to where you can download this, how to install, and until then, please subscribe to this channel. Hit that thumbs up if you like this video. This is Josh Vaintech. I'll see you in the next video.